Okay, so today we're doing something that I said I wouldn't be doing for a little while, but then you know what? I changed my mind. I decided, yeah, I want one because they're really cool. We're taming up a Shadow Mane, and I'm going to be honest with you, I've restarted this video like three times. I, I've tried, and I've tried, and I've tried, and it's very difficult to do this to at least tame up a high level. As you can see, I've already found a 180, and I was trying to tame that, but then we just we just lost the taming uh, effectiveness because it stood up. So what I'm going to do is... Uh, I, I figured it would be a good idea to just go ahead and collect up all of the biggest fish I could find and then put them into the baskets and then bring them over because when they're inside the baskets, they only have like 40 minutes before they spoil unless you dump them out somewhere and then recapture them. So yeah, uh, I came to this area right here. Let me show you on the GPS right here. So that's 19.9, basically 2070, which is cool. Uh, very clean coordinates. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get all these things into baskets. I've basically combed through and gotten pretty much only the biggest ones I could actually get. I actually managed to get tons and tons of them. Let me just show you real quick. Um, my my tribe log is just filled with me killing a bunch of my own fish. So yeah, we're just uh, we're gonna collect all these guys. That was the biggest one I could find right there. It was a um, what was it? A, was it a 2.0? This salmon looks bigger, but it's actually a smaller size in comparison. So let's go ahead and try and get the rest of these dudes. Now we're gonna have 40 minutes to get over there and try and tame up one of these things. So I'm hoping that it's going to go well. Uh, we might have to bring you guys down a little bit because I won't be able to capture you otherwise. Um, I, from what I know, there's no way of actually increasing the amount of time that you have on these baskets as well. And also another really annoying thing is, is that they weigh 15. So like you need tons of fish, but you know, like they, they weigh so much that you can't really hold that many. And uh, it's just so annoying. Is that even capturing? Oh, yeah, no, there's a stack of them here. I forgot about that. Wow, yeah, no, I have way more than I thought. I probably won't actually need all these. How many do I have here? Uh, okay, yeah, we've got like 15 or something right there. Okay, let's see. Let's uh, let's try and grab some from here because um, let's go for two more. Two more of these guys. Um, so, yeah, this is, uh, is going to be very stressful, but I'm going to try and get this done. And, guys, go ahead. Do me a favor. Hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Really just help me out. I do appreciate it. And I know this video will be super late because, like, it's already the next day. And usually I already have the video made before the the next day. So, um, yeah, this is going to be super late. But I'm sorry. You know, I'm just working on things. I'm trying to get things done. So I've got 18 fish. Hopefully that's going to be enough. We've got tons of time on them. So let's head on over. I already know where the Shadow Main is. So I'll see you guys when we're over there. All right. So the Shadow Main is right over here. I've got a bed up here already. Like, like I've said, I've already actually tried to do this. And just wasn't working so we're uh we're gonna get it done properly in this video instead of just putting out a bunch of footage of me failing 20 times over all right let me sort out my stuff and then we're gonna try and get into this team okay so we're all good to go it's already lying down this is the only time that you can feed them and you can only do this at daytime because they won't fall asleep uh during the nighttime because they're like nocturnal or whatever so you just basically approach them and then feed and then just walk away best bet is to wear gilly because you do not want to get spotted and attacked and then obviously stay crouched as well so as soon as you feed it the first time wow that gave a lot of percentage god damn that was a big one all right let's uh let's give it the 2.0 and see see if you can get this done i don't know which one that is though uh okay there it is awesome so um yeah like i said uh just wear gilly and just try to stay away from it like if it, if it starts walking towards you just keep walking away if you can you do not want to get attacked by it because it's probably going to mess up its taming effectiveness because it's probably going to kill you. And then by the time you get back, it will have fallen asleep and then woken back up. And that's just bad. You don't want that. So I think it's probably about to uncamouflage, maybe. You know, I'm so happy that they added this uh, tame tracker thing because without that, like right now, it would be 100% invisible and I'd have to look at the ground. Oh, there we go. Okay, sweet. Because you can kind of see their footprints as they walk around. So we got to stay crouched. Um, we could probably have walked over a little bit, but once we get to around this range, we want to stay crouched. You don't want to touch it. You just want to get close enough to hit E and then feed it that, that little basket. There we go. <gasps> Dude, that gave 20%. That was a big one. Okay, this is exactly why you don't use Piranha. Piranha do not get that big. They're easy to get. They're really cheap and easy, but do not do it unless you're taming a low level, please. You're going to mess something up. Oh, man. All right, let's go for the 1.5. Let's just keep on this big streak of big fish for this dude. I'm going to start taming fish all the time now, by the way. Like, it's just it's just going to be my, my new little hobby on the side when I'm not making these videos. <laughs> Crap, it's walking over here now. All right. 
So another uh, big hint is, or not hint, another big piece of advice. Sorry, my brain is so scrambled. I've been trying to tame these things for ages, and I'm so happy right now. Uh, kill everything in the area. If there's another shadow main, kill that. You can net the one that you're looking for, run the other one away. They're very dangerous, but you can do it if you fly above. Um, just fly high enough because they can jump up to you, which is terrifying, by the way. All right, here we go. And we can get another feed going. All right, crouching now. So 30% already. Dude, this is insane. Oh, man. Oh, actually, funny thing about this one, there was a 174 with it. Ooh, ooh, that was 15%. Yes, let's keep walking away. I'm walking away. I'm getting away. Oh, God, it's walking in this direction. Okay, I'm walking in this direction then. Yeah, there was a 174 with this one, and that one was a male, but this one had better stats. Speaking of stats, I'll uh, try to show you. There you go. You can kind of see its stats right there. 5K, just under 5K on the health. And then the melee is 220 right now. Obviously, that's going to improve when it gets tamed. Uh, let's go for our next biggest fish. This one? Maybe. All right. Is it ready to fall asleep, maybe? You're going to have, like, a little nap there? Maybe? Possibly? Honestly, these things are so difficult to tame. This is so stressful. Like, it's just... Uh, taming low levels would be so easy. I probably could have done that ten times over by now. But you know me. Like, I need to go for the high levels. It's just... It's who I am. I'm the high level guy. I'm the guy that just seemingly finds 180s all the time. And shut up. These things are not spawned in. Search the map. I found so many 180s of every single creature so far. And it's kind of insane. Oh, man. All right. Here we go. Boom. All right. Sorry. That was just me making a little bit of fun of the whole situation. <laughs> no matter. Like, I could, like, log on and immediately find something. And then there's always going to be somebody that's like, no, you're lying, Syntac. It's like, shut the just shut up oh man it's really handy though playing on a server by myself because um means i have full uh full reign of like just everything like all these creatures nobody else is here taming them or killing them so if i tame them or kill them then you know that's on me or mainly just killing them that's the bad part taming them's good though all right oh my god we're already 50 percent of the way done like this is the benefit of not just grabbing every single fish you can get a hold of like go for the big ones and if you capture a bunch of small fish just kill them you don't need them and also, if you do want to go for small fish, uh, 0.5 is the minimum that it has to be to feed. So any piranha will be around 0.8 to 1.0. Um, so yeah, just you can go for prana if you want to go for a low level shadow main. But honestly, they gave like 0% pretty much before. So here, let's uh, approach it again. Okay. Oh, bug repellent would probably be a good idea for this as well if you have like a bunch of bugs in the area, but I've already went through this whole area and killed everything, so we're all good to go. All right, we're just continuously walking away here. 67% of the way there. Dude, this is going to be insane. This better be a good stat one, I swear. Oh my god. All right, I'm so happy. Like, I'm so happy I didn't, you know, just try and like make a scuffed video of this because like I probably could have and the video wouldn't be late today, but it's fine. It's completely fine. Um... All right, let's uh, let's get this done. Come on, keep walking. By the way, uh, has anybody noticed there's like a weird kind of like hue or something? It's like almost like a like a weird cloudiness to this map. It almost kind of looks a little bit washed out. Is that just me or is that everybody? Because it's really hard to tell. I don't know if it's something to do with my stats, which I'll show to you after, but I have no idea. Well, basically, my stats are pretty much max and everything here. Well, uh. I'll show you in a second. Let me just quickly get over here to behind it and then feed it. We gotta go around this way. No, that's gonna be too long. We have to go straight forward. Oh my god, please don't mess up. Please don't mess up. You're 60% of the way there. Come on. Feed. Okay, I've done it. Walk it this way. Yeah, so, um. Oh, that's a floating rock. <laughs> what? <laughs> I never noticed that before. All right, there it is. 77% of the way there. All right, let me show you real quick. So yeah, um, these are my these are my settings. Everybody always asks about it. I've turned down view distance on this map and the shadows slightly, but everything else is pretty much maxed out. Um, you know, it, I could have all those maxed out if I wasn't making videos. That's the main thing. But um, obviously, yeah, the videos basically means that uh, I've got other processes running. Oh, we got a 1.3 here. Sweet. I think these fish do better, by the way. I'm not sure. It kind of feels like these ones give more percentage, though, doesn't it? Really hard to tell. Oh, actually, if you're looking for a really good PC, check out Apex Gaming PCs. I've been partnered with them for like over a year now, and I always get questions of like, what's a good PC to get? These are pre-built, and they're specifically designed to run ARC well. So yeah, there's also reviews from some of you guys who've bought them, and um, if you don't believe me, believe Syntax fans, I guess. Uh, all right, let's get in here. Let's do this. 
come on we're almost there probably like two or three more oh dude if i give it another big one it will probably tame up in the next one this is amazing i'm so happy i'm so happy right now after like a full night of just stress trying to get this thing tamed we're actually gonna get it tamed and pretty much perfectly as well all right do we have a big one not really mm, 1.2 we could go for 1.2 which one's the higher level i'm not sure if that matters to be honest i think it's just the size of the fish it's definitely in this game size does matter so sorry fellas um <laughs> all right let's see you gonna fall asleep there honey oh man we're gonna need a really cool name for this thing um as you can see it's already lost a level i'm very confused about that i like i mean we're doing everything correctly and it just seems to lose levels anyway so it is what it is like whatever there's probably a slightly better way of doing this or more efficient way of doing this but i'm doing it the best way i can figure out with the time that i'm allocated all right let's see let's try and get in here and do this maybe second to last feed hopefully last feed i probably not though all right here we go show it to me there we go <gasps> one more one more oh keep walking keep walking oh man okay so any fish that i feed it now will get it tamed up so i'll feed a 1.0 i think that's like the minimum size that i have brontos please do not aggro on the brontos please don't um okay we'll feed it this one please okay yeah, yeah, yeah. we're good we're good we're good just just it's walking so far away from where we are right now that it potentially could walk into something bad come on all right oh come on fall asleep it's gonna fall asleep any second now here we go oh this is amazing i'm so happy yes i would have preferred a male to be honest but the male that was with it sucked i think i might have mentioned that though i killed that one um yeah <laughs> my brain is so scrambled i'm so sorry if i'm like rambling all right we're come on oh it's gonna it's oh here we go yes and it's facing away oh oh that really freaked me out there for a second all right here we go last feed and i have tamed up a max level shadow main oh yes yes i did it i'm so happy where are you going bud okay so you lost two levels in total i'm so confused how to stop that from happening like it, i don't really understand look at the freaking colors on this lady oh she is so pretty she's like full-on just red i love it i really do let's uh let's go ahead and just pop you into a cryopod oh my crab pots are up there well you know what let's get up there using the shadow main so uh, i'll show how to use them properly but for now space and then point and then boom super crazy jump and then they sometimes do a flip as well if you don't land immediately so here i'll just do one directly up and you can see the flip boom that is awesome i love that i really do it's a nice little like extra thing to this creature can i run up here probably not just go ahead and do that and kind of like move forward a little bit there we go and land there we go perfect all right so we're gonna go ahead and put her into a cryopod and i'm just gonna go to eden i don't care um i know that we could probably use it over here and, and kill a lot of things really easily and whatnot but i'm gonna go to eden because i do not want to potentially lose this and also i kind of want to put my fish back you know we could probably continuously use these fish we have a couple decent sizes there so yeah we might do that so let me just go ahead and put you in here so you guys can see the stats and then also the uh, color regions as well which is something that now we can see on cryopods i love that oh, i didn't get the little uh note thing but i did get this when we tamed it that was weird okay so yeah it's apparently it's red and then it's a little bit orange and then it's a little bit black and grayish, sort of i think that's like a gray anyway uh, so then also the stats we have 7,000 health uh, 2,000 stam that's great we've got 348 on the melee and yeah that's fantastic and then how much weight does it have 773 that's really good actually all right we're going back to Eden I'll see you guys over there okay so I want to actually see if I can put the fish out in here because there's a tiny little bit of water and this is like perfect because like there's no wild creatures inside of this area so let's test it out with this small one so let's kind of like point at the ground a little bit um so this is like right beside my base oh there we go okay let's see okay let me just drop them out in the same spot maybe that will work yeah here we go i'll just drop them all out um all right sweet so they are alive and sweet yeah that works that works very amazingly actually so uh the only issue with keeping the fish is they will starve unless you manually feed them um you got to drop little fish flakes in now they'll eat like fish meat and stuff like that but um they do not eat from troughs 
that's the main point. So you can't just put a trough beside them and hope for the best. All right, shadow main time, boys. Let's uh, let me just put away some of this gear and actually let me grab some of my stuff out. All right, little milkshake, you gotta get back into your ball and we're gonna test out this freaking shadow main. I'm so excited. Like these things are so cool. And I'm just so glad that we actually have one and it's teamed up very, very efficiently. I mean, like we lost two levels. I don't know if there's a way to actually tame them without losing those levels, but let's just check this thing out. So first of all, um, it actually does have a passenger seat, which is really cool. So you can have a second player on the shadow main. Usually you can't go into K mode when you're on the passenger seat. At least I don't think you can. Huh. But anyway, yeah, there's the passenger seat. These things are gigantic though. Like look at the size of it. I mean, like I could fit completely inside of this thing's mouth. I would assume anyway so yeah the uh the females have the smaller mane but they have like this like extra little like feathery bits on the neck um and that's pretty much it like that's the only difference for the females like they they're missing a lot of the detail that the male have that the males have like the males are way more detailed and, and honestly cooler looking but you know what i'll definitely settle for having this one anyway oh look at that actually it's natural armor so I pretty much tested this out in my every creatures video 124.8 that definitely seems like that's probably the maximum amount of armor that you can have so depending on the level it's gonna have like that armor pretty much depending on its level so like a lower level will have a lower armor but this one here even though it says ramshackle I'm pretty sure that is the actual max amount of armor that these things can have I really like that by the way that's a nice little addition because usually creatures like this where you can't put saddles on them are kind of squishy but this thing is an absolute beast so um let's uh oh you know what one more thing before we before we do anything let's put you to sleep oh look at you oh i love this i love this little uh this feature so much oh man i kind of wish that we could like pet them or something when they were sleeping god like i hope arc 2 just brings so much stuff like this where we can just you know interact with the creatures beyond just riding them around and killing stuff with them why did i mount the passenger seat there that was weird all right so Shadow mains. Let me find something decent to actually go fight. So let's do some jumps. I love that so much. It's so cool. All right. Um, probably not worth fighting things like uh, stegos where I'm not actually going to be able to see how much damage we properly do. So let's fight this Bronto. I know we can kill it. So here we go. So watch that little meter just on the top of my hotbar. It's kind of intersecting with it a little bit. So that's going to charge up. And then at that point, we're going to have uh, increased damage, but we're also going to have this extra like ult attack that I don't have to use immediately. I can just keep attacking, but we can also use that. Boom. Hold down left click to do that. And as you can see, that just did tons of damage. This thing has some sort of weird confetti effect or something um, as well. Look at this. These things are so good. Boom. I like that, uh, that little ult attack. It's really nice that it doesn't just force you to use it immediately then. So like I could just run around using like having that and as you can see I've got like this really cool effect on my eyes and everything and like we have this weird like the little trails of light and energy like trailing after me I love that so much all right here we go a boom 600 damage not bad at all so um we actually still have it right now huh I thought we just used it but I guess we can use it a couple times all right I know that we can kill a strider for sure Let's see if we can Take him out quick, though. All right, I wonder, does jumping into them do anything? Does this do anything at all? It seemed to have done a little bit of damage, but not really enough to make it worth anything. Oh, wait, no, no, it didn't, because it's slowly taking poison damage. Huh. All right, so never mind. Scratch that. Let's see. Let's just uh, take down the strider, then. How much health do you have? Not a whole lot left, actually. Alt. Boom. Okay, come on. I want to finish it off with an ult attack if I can as well. All right, and... Boom! Explosion. Wow, that thing exploded really quick. Usually they fall over and then explode. Did they change that? Hmm, maybe. All right, let's test out the right-click attack, which is the chain lightning dash. And it is so cool. Look at this. Oh, we hit four targets. Amazing. I thought we only hit three. That's awesome. So yeah, these guys are all stunned. So it doesn't do a huge amount of damage, but the fact that it just moves you around so you can get out of like a tight squeeze but also it uh, stuns them for a little amount of time as well. So definitely very useful if there's like a ton of Dillos or something around, you can just quickly take them out. But uh, bigger targets or just like proper enemies, you know, you can just easily just zip right through them all and move around and they won't really be able to keep uh, track of you very easily anyway. There we go. We did more damage with that ult right there. I wonder why. 
that's confusing. There is, obviously, there's probably a lot to do with the Shadow Main that I just don't know right now. But I hope to learn, because these things are probably going to become one of my favorite creatures in Ark. So C will make us invisible. Wait for it. There, okay, apparently when I hit it and it was eating and it kind of bugged out. But there we go. We're invisible. Unfortunately, Helena is giving us away right now. We're not 100% invisible. You can still see this if you're like walking around. But from a distance, you can't really see it, obviously. Um, so that's pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's just sneak up on this little dodo. We're moving super slow though, so... Definitely would be nicer if we could move a little bit faster. And we can see the paws on the ground like that. All right, I think the dodo knows. We've already been fighting. All right, let's do... Boom. Oh, we only hit one. Damn it. All right, well, let's destroy the dodo. Sweet. All right, and we got a couple dillos over here. Let's use this again. Chain lightning dash. Awesome. I love that so much. Look at the trail of light and everything. Like, I just love the effects that this thing actually has. And dead. So, if we were uh, mate boosted by a male, obviously, uh, we would actually have a new ability, which is the ability to cloak other creatures, including that male. So, basically, the female can cloak creatures with the extra ability, and the male can boost them up with its roar. So, it's pretty cool, actually. And, oh my god, this these colors that I got with the, like, cool glow thing from the ult attack is so... I just love it. It's so beautiful. Like, god damn it. Oh, seriously? Really? I can't get through that? Really? I'm still stuck? Oh, you know what? One more thing. This is, uh, this makes it even better. Let's go ahead and get some hydration buff. That's another thing. Oh, I already have it, apparently. Okay, I didn't realize I did. So that's another thing that these things can get. Uh, if you get into the water, you get hydration, just like the Spinos and, uh, what is it again? That Wyvern, what is it? The Tropical one, I think? Oh my god, that looks amazing from... <gasps> I love that so much! Look at that effect! Wait, wait, wait. Oh my god! That's awesome! The eyes and everything. This thing is so terrifying. Look how fast we can swim. This is honestly crazy. Can we do the chain lightning attack in the water? I don't... Oh, I think we can. Oh, <gasps> you can? I didn't know you could do that. Or maybe I did and I forgot, but I definitely forgot if, if I did know. I can't even remember sometimes. You know, I test out these creatures a little bit and then I just completely forget. That is amazing, though. Oh, did we... Oh, we did hit things. Amazing. Okay, cool. So, yeah, these, uh, these shadow mains are just honestly the coolest creatures. I mean... Uh, we need to get we need to get another one. We need to get some babies going at some point like we need to just do all of the things with these shadow mains because um Yeah, they're definitely gonna be my favorite creature to run around on. All right, let's see. So Health wise gets a good amount per level. I don't have boosted stats per level by the way Some people still think that I have that I had that on an old server with a bunch of people don't have that on my servers nowadays um, But yeah, let's go ahead and get that up to 10k. That is a huge amount Wow, okay. And let's, uh, let's boost up the melee. So wait, how much damage do we do? Let me hit this turtle. So, 188. And now we're doing... Uh, okay, now we're doing last because we're mate boosted. Yeah, the thing's mate boosted. That sucks. Um, never mind then, I guess. <laughs> how much are we doing to this guy? Uh, th the damage is all over the place. I'm so confused. I feel like we can attack quicker when we're in this, like, ult kind of charged up mode. So cool. All right, let's, uh, let's do a little chain lightning attack here. What? How many things can you hit? I just destroyed half the battlefield. What? There's... Wait, 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 wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I think. I think I hit eight things. Let me try that again. Wait, I can't... Oh, here we go. What? What? <laughs> I hit so many things. That is amazing. That is honestly insane. And you're so fast and you can just get out of there. Like, oh, Shadow Mains, come on. Ark, this is this is why I'm so glad that it's not just a dinosaur game anymore. People always complain about it, but like, look at that. How many things did I just hit? I can't even keep track. This is incredible. All right, let's take out this freaking Strider. Oh yeah, you can do that attack too, but apparently I did it and it didn't actually hurt you properly. That was weird. All right, let's charge another one up. Take out this frickin' Strider. Alt attack! Oh, I thought I just did it, but it didn't actually happen. That was weird. All right, let me get over here then. All right, let's charge up another one of those. Start attacking a little bit. Wait for the strike to get a little bit closer. And boom. Yeah, I'm not able to hit the Strider at all with that for some reason. I don't understand why. Okay, let's do this real quick. Zip, zip, zip. There we go, nice. We got a little stun in as well. We love that. We love that so much. 
Oh man, we got such awesome colors as well. Like they're they're really nice colors in the wild. Like I gotta say, it's, <laughs> I'm just so happy with this creature. We do so much damage. Oh my god. Boom. And oh, what the hell does that mean? What did that little lightning thing mean? Is that what? Is that like a targeting thing? Can we choose a target? I think what did I do? Did I like choose a target? That was confusing. I know that's the same symbol from just above the hot bar from the shadow main, but that was confusing. I thought maybe we chose a target or something. I don't really understand. I don't yeah, I don't I don't understand why that popped up. That was weird. Alright, whatever. Let's get in here. Let's try and hit him with the ult. Yeah, that didn't hurt him at all for some reason. Okay, here we go. How close are we? Wow, you have so much health. This is 174. Screw this. I'm not I'm not taking that out. That would, be, that would just take way too long. Can we jump out of the water as well? I think we can, right? Yeah, we can do that out of the water. These creatures. These creatures are so insane. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. I'm just simping so much for these guys, but I'm sure everybody loves them. I'm sure you guys have probably already had a try, but like this is honestly my first try in survival mode. It's very exciting for me. Uh, let's go ahead and do another one of these. A boom! All right, and let's drop the fat ult. That almost did 900 damage in a way. Come on, here we go. Yes! Hell yeah! All right, let's take out these guys as well. We should find some spinos. Spinos are really good for XP. Get some levels going. You know what? I'm just gonna ditch this fight and head off and look for some spinos and some stuff. There's our old base, lovely. We miss it every single day. Uh, can we do another jump? The cooldown on the jumps is probably about maybe seven to eight seconds, I would say. Hard to tell though. Oh no, now we can do another one. So maybe there is a cooldown. Maybe I just wasn't holding it down properly. No, I'm holding it down. It just won't allow me. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I guess you can also just like hit space and it will just like charge for a second and uh, wait, let's do it. I just held it for a second there and it just shoots me off anyway. That's awesome. All right, let's see. We got some mammoths over here. We can take those out for the moment. Uh, we've also got some aloes. You know what? Let me see. Let me see if I can get all these guys pissed off at me. Let me just hit the mammoths and lead them over to the aloes. And we got stegos. We've got all the things. Oh, mammoths do the reduction. I forgot about that. Come on. Hey, come on, aloes. Oh, we got so many aloes. Holy crap. All right, let's do a little, little one of these. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, man. All right. And... Do they not want to attack me or something? Oh, no, here we go. Okay, we got to watch the health, though. Definitely don't want to die here. Um, do another one of these. Try and hold it down. There we go. And a little zap for everybody. Okay, we are actually losing quite a lot of health here. <laughs> Come on. And that did not hit. God damn it. That's so annoying. All right, here we go. Dude, that's so insane! All right, I really should try and get hydration buff. That would help out quite a lot, but uh, kind of difficult to do with no water around here. Yeah, these aloes just do not want to attack me at all. Boom. Come on, get some kills in here. All right, let's do another one of these. Okay. Come on. All right, that aloe's dead. We gotta kill the Styla. The natural enemy of the Shadow Bane. Styla. This is probably a super high level, isn't it? This is definitely like a super high level Styla. That is a 156. Never mind. It's not super, super high level. Boom. Dead. Awesome. Let's get this Daedon killed. Come on. Almost there. And a boom. All right, we could probably shock this guy to make him stop hitting me, but it's fine. We'll save that for a second later. And we're going to take out these aloes. Boom. Oh, we only hit one. Damn it. I love the way that when it finishes the little charge, it also is facing the target as well. So you can just start fighting then. I like that a lot. Come on. All right. Oh, that was weird. We just had the symbol again. So confused. Come on. Probably could have pumped in some levels before all this. This is a lot. Oh, I cannot hit them at all with that ult. God damn it. All right, we got one more. Here we go. 
almost. You know what? Let's do one of these and then do a little bit of fighting. There we go. Nice. 174 killed, nine levels. Boom. Awesome. So yeah, that is the Shadow Mane. What an excellent creature. Wild card, if anybody's watching a wild card, thank you. Thank you so much for making this. This is so awesome. Oh my god, I love it. I really do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Can we hit flyers? Do you wreck? <gasps> do you reckon I could do that? Let me let me try that again. Let me see. Oh, it'd be so cool if we could. Alright, let's see. Oh! Oh, oh! Seriously? Really? That's just rude. Oh, we can board the passenger seat while we're What? This makes no sense. <laughs> Oh, that's actually really handy. Uh, all right, are we good? We can board the passenger seat while we're stunned like that. That's interesting. No idea that that would happen. Um, come on, little Pteranodon. Get down here just a little bit. You're way too high now. All right, uh, is there any more? Oh, there's another Pteranodon over here. Okay, here we go. We're gonna just get close enough and then start targeting. Oh yeah, look at that. No way! Oh, it knocks them down to the ground, too. Oh, man. Seriously, that is awesome. I love that so much. Boom. <laughs> oh, these guys are so good. They're so good. Yes. Oh, I, this is going to be the creature that's going to get nerfed to absolute shreds. It's not going to be the same... This is the one experience that we're going to get to have with it where it's actually just the way it should have been. Not should have been, but you know what I mean. Like, PvP-wise, yeah, I think this thing's probably going to get nerfed. Like, I can't see it being like this forever. This is really good. Um, yeah. Guys, that is the Shadow Mane. What an awesome creature. I love it so much. So beautiful, so elegant, so powerful. Just aim directly up like this. Oh, man, look at that. And then the flip. Ah. Oh so good anyway enough simping for this thing let's get this video out guys if you have enjoyed the video go ahead do me a favor hit the like button if you want to see more like this you can of course subscribe and i'll see you in the next one